This is just a bit of a revisited video because it's a subject I did a long time ago now which is with the art history brush but one of the members from our members area on my website said can you do it on portraits and I thought what a great idea so we're using this picture here it's a Marilyn Monroe lookalike even taken by Nigel Nichols of Photo Solutions looking at the picture itself brilliant just want to bring through a little bit more detail around the eyes so if we go to image adjustment we're going to drop down to shadow and highlights that brings that through nicely some of the highlights there are just a bit too prominent so grabbing hold of the highlight slider moving it in very very slightly let's take a look there's the before there's the after click OK to that now we've done that so we've got a little bit of a problem don't forget we're going to be using the art history brush let's take a look at the history panel here you can see there's the opening image there's the shadow and highlights now if we were to use the art history brush it would pick up the detail from the opening image so what we need to do is just make sure you're working back on the the last snap of history you've actually taken the last sort of stage of history we're going to drop down click on the camera that's now taken a snapshot just making sure the markers move from the original one there into this uh, snapshot now we are working with the shadow and highlights as well or whatever you may have done to your pictures so anything you've changed just ensure before using the art history you've taken a snapshot right now we've actually sort of brightened it up we're going to put in a new empty layer we're going to fill it with the background color we've got the default colors there white being the background color and to fill it simply use command delete that's command delete it is control and it is backspace fills it with the background color next coming up the art history brush is found in with the history brush tool there it is I've got a very small brush there if you just click in there's the brush panel it's a soft edge brush we can make it a bit bigger just to see what we're doing there it is there and if we come across you've got the opacity the normal this is where all the magic happens for example let's go to loose curl got quite a large brush there and you can see with loose curl is pretty loose and it is pretty curly make the brush a little bit smaller using the left hand square bracket makes the brush smaller and you can see it becomes a little bit more defined we can change the curls to long curls there it is there you can change it to tight curls and just come in around this area that's where the hair is that's the face I think the lips have just come through there as well or simply vaguely resembling the lips just coming through like that's and quite literally at this stage now what we're going to do is just put down a little bit of, sort of paint on the paper I think is the artistic term used let's go for tight long just changing it a bit like that so I think that works oh gosh we've got some eyes we've got a nose and we got a mouth there the rest coming through there nicely zooming into the image as well so we can see exactly what's going on again a good idea adjust the size of the brush we got a 30 pixel brush as we can see here just reducing it using the left hand square bracket down to 15 pixels that's the sort of painterly look we're after coming round the shoulders I like that that's working nicely just dropping the size down even more the more you drop the size down the more detail we're going to bring through a nice uh, as I say painterly look coming through with this now just zooming down just use the space bar to pick up the hand tool gonna to leave it around about that area there I think would do pretty good I just like the way that's working in there coming around here now up over the eye just opening the eye up a little bit around that part there you can see the nice sort of rough edges this is giving around that area just blending in a little bit where we went a bit crazy with the first brush you can go over this countless number of times sort of bringing back the detail using a different size brush I like what this is actually doing with the hair there that's uh, working nicely over the other eye job just about done and you can see the difference we're making with this every time we go over it just a little bit more around there let's take this to tight medium around the area like this tight medium as well is now working that's a little bit better didn't want to smudge Marilyn Monroe's lips well probably getting the Sunday papers if you did coming through like that and round we go and you can see this is now bringing back the detail nicely that's dropping it down to tight medium if you go for tight short 
we're going to get even more detail coming through. You can see the eyes coming through there nicely. Brush size is 9, using the left-hand square bracket again, taking it right the way down. Let's go down to 5 pixels. Now we can start to bring through just a little bit more detail around there, keeping this painterly look like the way that's working. And so perhaps just little strokes around the area of the hair, just to bring back some of the texture in the hair and around the edges. That looks pretty good. I find this quite sort of relaxing, it's quite therapeutic to actually work away. I can't actually paint, but uh, this is probably as close as you can get to it. Well, I know you can get a bit closer, but uh, brilliant. Like that. So if we just take a look, the start image is there, and you can see just that nice painterly look coming through, keeping all the detail in the picture by dropping the size of the brush right down, just clearing up round the nose a bit. There it is, job done. That's the first part of this video. What we're going to do is uh, have a now sort of a separate video which will be for the members in the members area on my website where we're going to transform this a little bit more. So I hope you'll join me then.